just an update regarding my pregnancy, the dad, and just everything. This weekend was such a hard weekend. I'm 30 weeks now, and um, I have my toddler, who is the sweetest, cutest thing ever, and I just love her to death. But she's still three, and she needs a lot of um, attention from mommy, and she's just active, and you know, I don't blame her. So, my car had to go to the shop because the condenser the condenser i think and the air conditioner went out and it needed to be replaced so i took it to be replaced and you know then there was some kind of electrical thing i don't know all i know is i will never get a mercedes again because my lexus before this I didn't have any issues and so I will try to sell this car I'm going to sell this car and go back to getting a Lexus because this is some BS I just spent four thousand dollars on repairs for this car and so I had to get a um a rental I got a rental on Saturday it ended up being way farther than I expected for way more mo money than I expected and my baby's father really isn't, I mean, he's around, but he's busy. So actually, my daughter's father has been helping me um, for the things like that. Because, I mean, it's a lot doing things while 30 weeks pregnant, if you've ever been pregnant. <laughs> it's just, like, a lot to do. Um, so he's been helping me, and... Um, I really appreciate that of him and it means a lot to me because I've known him for a long time now and we're, you know, I just know him. I feel like he's like family and that's, that's good for me. Um, and this baby's father, I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if he's going to be active in the baby's life. I don't know if he's not going to be active. He acts like he's going to be active, but he also acted like he was going to be there for the pregnancy and he just is sometimes, he just pick and chooses, like, it's like I'm, like, low priority in his, in the things that he needs to do. And he continues to tell me that the things he's, her, he's doing has me and the baby in mind. And I'm like, I feel like if that was the case, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't feel this way. You know, you act like you're just not available at all, yet you have me and the baby in mind so it's really hurtful you know I, I want to try not to think that I wish this situation never happened because I think a baby is such a blessing and I don't want to ever feel like that about a child um but when it comes to this man I definitely wish I could go back in time and change some things. You know, it's funny because people always act like women want to trap a man with a baby or whatever. I don't want to trap anybody, any man with any babies. I want... I was doing just fine before this man came into my life. Everything was going so smooth. And then this man came into my life and I got pregnant. And I put everything on hold. And I feel like this happens to women so often. And we talked about it. It wasn't like we were like drunk and made a mistake. Like it wasn't even a mistake. It was just, it was a planned situation. I th it seemed like we were going to be good. And now we're not. And the baby's all on me right now. At least that's how he's acting. And it just sucks. It's hard. I didn't want 
I didn't want this like this. I wish I could just <laughs> take this little piece of my life and just I just wish I could just let it go. Erase it. Just get a pencil with an eraser, go back into go to my journal and just erase this part of my life and just move on.